What I'd like to demonstrate now is the calibration process for the images that we take of the Arkansas Tech University Observatory. The program that we use to analyze the images is called MaxMDL. There are three sets of images that we utilize, and I'll introduce them to you and tell you what they are. The first is called a bias image, and it's a median image that's been combined from 10 or 20 images that are taken with the shutter shut and zero length exposure. So a zero second exposure uh, gives us this bias image. And what this helps do is identify bad columns, hot pixels, and essentially the noise associated with just simply reading out the chip and doing nothing else. Then there's what's called a dark image. The dark image is also an image taken with the shutter closed. However, it has the same exposure time as your images do. And usually you can take a dark image that has the longest exposure time of any of the images that you have. This essentially helps you remove the noise that's created from simply letting thermal electrons accumulate in the pixels on the CCD camera. Since the shutter is closed, it's not getting any photons of light, but it is generating signal because of the length of time of the exposure. The last image is called a flat field image, and we take an image of a flat white screen with the telescope, and every little pixel in the camera is sensitive to light in a slightly different way, and so taking an image of what should be a flat white field allows us to remove the sensitivity of the pixels and any shadowing or shading that's due to uh, reflections or bad collimation of the optics. So these three images are the types of images that we utilize to calibrate the, the regular stellar images. So let me show you how to set up a calibration so that it will do that for the images of, of interest. Underneath the process menu, we select set calibration. Then we choose the folder for which we have our images and calibration images and we're going to select 2012 October 4th. That will tell the program where to look for all these various bias, dark, and flat images. If you select auto generate, it will look at the images and look inside the header of the image for a keyword that says bias, dark, or flat that was set when the image was taken at the telescope. So once we select auto-generate, it will go through and create uh, sets of calibration images. Notice that there is a bias image, and the bias images are listed down here. And there is a flat field taken through the clear filter from all the flat field images. There is a flat field taken with the green filter there is a flat field associated with the R filter and the I filter, and then the dark images. And it looks like we've picked up an extra, an extra image at the very end here, so I want to remove those. I just want to utilize the raw data images, not any ones that I've processed. <coughs> And then here at the end, it didn't know what to do with this uh, JPEG image, so it added it to it, but it's not, it's not anything, so I'm going to remove it and remove this whole calibration. <coughs> there, now, the only thing that we should have is the bias images, the dark images, and then a flat field for each individual filter that we used. And once we say OK, the program now remembers that we're going to use that calibration set on any set of images that we open with the program. So let me demonstrate. Let me open a couple of images from that particular night. Let's open these three. I have no idea what they are, but <coughs> we'll take a peek. 
And so these images will have in them the bias readout noise, they'll have the dark current, and they'll have anything that's associated with the sensitivity of the pixels. And therefore, we have to calibrate them and remove those systematic things from the images so that we just have the data we're interested in. So by selecting process and calibrate all, it's going to do the calibration that we asked it to do in the set calibration, which is this. Combine the bias frames into a median image. Combine all the dark frames into a median dark. Combine all the flat fields in each individual filter separately into a median flat. We're going to subtract the dark current from the flats, and we're going to subtract the bias from the flats. And then it will apply a normalized flat field to each individual image. So when we select Calibrate All, it will do that for all three of these images here, and you'll see them cleaned up a bit. And now they have been analyzed and fixed for the systematic problems associated with the CCD camera. And the images are now said to be calibrated and ready to do science on.